Hello, uh, today we will go through this uh, paper, uh, the implementation of this paper. So this is a paper um, developed by Toyota, the Toyota Research Institute, and the license is a very permissive license. Thanks to the authors for uh, sharing their work and making the code available. So this is a very impressive paper where you give a video as an input feed and you get a depth estimation, a very stable depth estimation. This is not their first paper. They have other ones as you may see them here. But this one is in from what I've seen one of the most impressive ones. So you need to follow some steps to make it work. They recommend to uh, use it in a Docker container. You can make it work outside of a Docker container, but it can get very tedious. So the first step is to install uh, uh, the, Docker, the NVIDIA Docker container. So in my case, to do so, I did, sorry, NVIDIA, this is what I did, uh, sudo apt get, oh sorry, uh, before this you need, we need to add some, um, s how, how, how are they called, repos, repositories, so before that we need to, I think it's it here, Ubuntu, yes, this ones. You need to follow these steps and then to install the NVIDIA container toolkit. And then uh, once this is done, you should have the NVIDIA container so that you, you can run containers while using the GPU, the CUDA cores. The next step is to clone this repository repo to go inside, then to make docker build. This will build a container, it takes a lot of time and I got a lot of red warnings, but in the end everything works uh, fine. This is not persistent, so as far as I know, as soon as you uh, close the container, it will delete everything. Then you can run uh, commands, or you can SSH like into the into the Docker machine. This is what we have. What I've did because it's more practical here. So this is in the Docker container, and once you are in, you need to clone the repo again. Or maybe I'm missing something, but that's what I did. Yes, so this gave me this uh, folder. And then in this folder, you have these files. The next step, if you just want to infer, and that's uh, what we will go through today, you need to have um, the image. So in, in this case, we have this image, these two images, depth test, and uh, max res default. I can show you what they look like. So this is max res and this is depth test. I wanted to test on an outside environment and on a indoor environment because it was trained for an outdoor environment. So I wanted to know how will it do in a quite dark and indoor environment. And the result is quite interesting, as you will see. So for to get these files, we get, and then it downloads the file. I did this for both. The next step is to run this, uh, the inferring script that takes multiple input inputs, sorry. The first one are the weights for the neural networks that you can get here on the GitHub page. You have multiple ones. I used this one. I think these are the newest, uh, the PactNet ones. So I used um, 
this one in my case. This gave me this file, so I just did copy link, copy link, and then vget as well, and pasted the link. So you, you give it here as an input, then you give your image as the other input, and you choose an output, the name of an output, you run it. It loads the model. And it should soon be done. Up, done. Then I did the same thing for the, the other part. This gave me this AAAA uh, file. The next step was to copy these files, or maybe if you know how to view them inside the Docker container, you can do that. But in my case, I had to copy them. So for that, you need to know what's the name of your uh, Docker machine. For that, you go uh, sudo docker ps. You take this container ID and then you sudo docker copy the container ID to points. You give the path to your file. So if you don't know a print working directory, you have this and then you just add um, the slash name of the file. And then I tell it to paste it in this in the current working directory name indoor. And I did the same thing for outdoor, but with the other file. Of course, if you want to do that for a video, you can manage to feed the pictures, uh, the frames of the video into the algorithm. And you can give it um, a folder directly. You don't have to give it only one file. This is quite practical. Once this was done, so wait, we can execute it. Up. This was done. Then we can go in and we can have a look at the outdoor. You can see that the algorithm works very well. It guessed correctly a lot of everything. I mean, the, the depth is very well uh, approximated here. And interestingly enough, for the indoor one, it didn't do such a great job, which was to be expected because the training data was outdoor data. Uh, but you can train it for um, other data. I don't know what the precise workflow is, but you can do so. So I hope I didn't miss any important step. Not that I know of. I hope this was uh, useful for you and thank you for watching.